My name is Jesse Reichler from DonationCoder.com and the YouTube channel Caught for Two. Today I'm going to demonstrate an OBS plugin I've written called TextML or Multiline Text, based derived from the OBS built-in text plugin for Windows. And this is going to be a little complicated to explain my use case here, but I'm going to try to walk you through it. So if you look here, you can see a standard title page, title scene, for one of my live streams. This is how it typically goes. Now, I might do one or two of these each week, and each week I need a different text description of the game that I'm playing. And here we go. It says Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective, West End Adventures, Case to the Murder of Sherlock Holmes. And then we've got a countdown in a video. But ignore the rest of that. Let's just go and see the text part of it. Okay. So this is how I used to do it with the built-in text source in OBS. You can see here's the four lines of text and here's how they're generated. They're generated with four text elements here, one, two, three, third line, fourth line. Now if you wanted every line to be very precisely controlled the location like maybe you want this line over here and you want it to use, let's say we go into this piece of text. We can, you can see this is the default text source in OBS. For Windows, I can change the color, the opacity, the gradient, that's the blending from blue into white, the alignment of the text, the outline, the outline size, etc. If you were just making one title page, and there's the text that line case do. If you were just making one title page that you were going to use for months over and over again, like the name of your channel, whatever, then there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. Each line I have complete control over. My problem is that twice a week I need to make a new title page and these font sizes and spacings change. For example, here, this name of this game takes two lines. Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective, that's a two-line thing. When I play a game that's got a short title, now what do I do? I go in and I hide the second line. I go into the first line. I edit it. Then I come and drag it and make it a little bigger to fit. Then I go down and move this one up here. That's the second line, the subtitle. Maybe sometimes I don't even have a subtitle, so I turn off that. Then I go in, I bring this down. I bring this up for the subtitle. And then the next week I come back and I play another Sherlock Holmes game. Now I gotta go in and turn this on, turn this on, move everything back, change all the text, move it around. It can be very annoying. So in practice, what I do, if if I'm never going to repeat play a game, uh, then I might just overwrite, overwrite these texts with a new game. I'm just going to try to put all this, oops, put all this back the way it was. Okay. Uh, so if it's a one-off game that I'm never going to play, let me move this down. Okay, if it's a one-off game I'm never going to play again, then I might overwrite it. But I actually go through a lot of games that are in series. So in that case, what I do is I put all these Sherlock Holmes title in a folder so I can turn it off in bulk. Then I make a new folder. I copy those same four line, four text sources. I copy, then I come in here and I paste, and then I turn on, and then I edit this one. So my next series, the L.A. Noir series, which has got, I play 13 different sessions, so each time I'd come by here, so if I was doing that, I would turn off the Sherlock Holmes, I'd come turn on the L.A. Noir, I'll double-click this, 
Whoops, where is the turn? Turn 13, so I'll do this. I'll update this. Okay, now I'm playing turn 14. So then if I was playing a new game, I would come, I would make a new group, and I would call this the new game. New game. Then I would go and I would copy these four lines, paste them into the new group, turn off the, the old one, turn on the new one, move it around a little bit. Then I can come in and edit this line. This will be new game with long title. Okay, then I would go, now this top line I want to resize, so maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller till it looks like it fits. Then I'll move it in here, okay, but now I gotta make the subtitle smaller. I could try to go in and manually set the fonts for these. Now I'm gonna adjust it up here, then the third line. I'll move up again, I'll resize it to look about like what the others are sized. Maybe I'll move this down here and so on and then I would do it for another time. Okay, so this is all the long way of saying how I would do it and then I'll come back here and here it is here. Okay, it needs to go down a little bit. Okay, but that's how I would do it in the old days. Now. There's another way you could do it in the old way, which is instead of four lines of text, you could try to use one line of text with new lines. So instead of this, which, which has four lines of manually configured text, you could do just one line of text. So here's a four lines of text in one text source. Let's see what that looks like. So here it is. You can see two problems. The first problem is all of the text has to be the same font size. So I can resize this, but it's all as a group. The second problem is that the line spacing is ter terrible. It's visually offensive. That's because it has to leave space for descenders and all that. So the nice part about that is if you're making a new game, you've just got one text source to worry about. So if I turn to case three, I could say case three. This is the final case like that. So that's nice but it doesn't look so hot. Okay, now I don't need it to look perfect in my cases. I'm not interested in perfection, but this is not quite good enough, although I like the convenience of it. I would still have to make multiple copies of this um, for each different game I play. Like if I play Sherlock Holmes a lot, I'd still have to probably have multiple ones of these, but at least that's just one entry for each game. Okay, so that's a long starting video to show you the new plugin, but I need to set set the motivation. So let's go and change over to the new multi-line titles. Okay, so here's what I'm using now. It's just the single entry called title text multi. And let's take a look at it. So again, this is code that's coming straight based on the built-in text GDI plus plugin or source for OBS. And let's take a look at it. here is the, the line that's generating what you see on the screen. So there are a couple things going on in here, are the new settings. So the first thing it does is it does a word wrap. The next thing it provides is a line spacing adjustment. So you can see, you can tweak the line spacing to get it nice and tight. The 
setting here is to change whether you want the gradients to be each uh, duplicated with each line or across the entire text. Um, and then we've got word wrap, which is not going to be very useful here, but you could use it to word wrap this line so that you can see what I've got is the first line is Sherlock Holmes consulting detective. I don't want to force a line break, so I use word wrap to get that the way I want it. Okay. Now, the last thing to notice here is it's got sort of a workspace where you can keep other text that you use for other other to switch between. So this is just sort of like a staging area, a place I can, can have notes. I have notes for my Sherlock Holmes games, my L.A. Noir games, my Sherlock Holmes West End Adventure games. So if I just come here and copy and paste, here I have Sherlock Holmes Fellowship of Bones. And if I want to play my L.A. Noir game, I could paste that in here, and now we've got, there's the L.A. Noir. Okay, well, you can see I'm, I probably shouldn't have messed with the line spacing so dramatically. Okay, what's the last, and then the last one we played was this one. We can just take a look at this here. Okay, so you can see it makes it much easier to switch between different title pages. And then what you'll notice is these little annotations every once in a while. So there's the slash and his new line that would be the same as if I just did that. So you can still use multi-line if you want with new lines, but you can put also everything on one line just to make it simpler for your notes. Okay, so what is this stuff here? These are tweaks to the word wrap position the font size, the line spacing, and the coloring. That's what the H is. So the H is a hue shift. So basically what I'm saying is, given the current font size configured, which is down here, or rather up here, this says this line should be minus 20% on the font size, minus 20% on the word wrap, minus 10% on the line spacing. The next line here, this cold case mission possible, is minus 35% on the font size, plus 77 hue shift, and plus 30% on the line spacing. So you see if I change this to 40, that gives a little bit of extra space between what's above it and what's below it. And if I change this to plus 10, it's much closer to the line above it. Okay, so the point is that this gives you some fine grain control over the multiple lines of text so that you don't have to create separate lines and move them around separately. This is just all one unit and it all, well, of course, it all resizes and gets bigger or smaller together, but that's not the main point. The main point is that I can now use this same configured text source for all of my different titles just by tweaking various things. So some titles don't need, like this one here, L.A. Noir, can use full-sized, largest fonts on the main title line, Eleanor, and then I make it smaller. And here, so if I decide that this Y is too close to turn 12, I would just go in here. Let's resize this. OBS 28 has small things. So Eleanor, I could say, okay, the next line, I want to be L plus 15. Oops, I'm in the notes. That's not what I want down here. Let's do... L plus 15. So now I've dropped that turn 12 line down a little bit more. I could drop it even more if I wanted it to be further down or less, etc. Okay, so it gives you some fine grain control of that, but the nice thing is once you've set it, you use the same text source for multiple titles. Very easy to switch between them using this little internal notes. Of course, you don't have to use the internal notes. You could have a text file with all your different sources here. But 
makes it very easy to switch between them. Just go paste and now we're playing a different game. So there you have it, the multi-line text source plugin um, for OBS just makes it a little easier for people who are constantly changing their title pages.